All right, looks like we've gotten the nod once again, Jimbo. <laughs> so uh, Chris and Jim from Hobie Fishing. Mate, um, we've actually kicked things off again. It's, um, I don't know, I'm sort of sitting back looking at times and dates and we've just been looking at some of the calendar details and when you guys said to me a moment ago that, you know, cut off for early entries is Friday this week. It, Not far away. This year, and I think the first part of this year, we've got a lot happening. Yes, yes, it's a very busy March. It, it normally is February, March are normally extremely busy, but yeah, this is... This is a little bit busier than normal. So right. we'll take five seconds and uh, have a quick look back at Marlow. Mm. Um, I guess getting back down to what has been such an iconic location, it's kind of either the... <laughs> Heroes or zeros, you know, kind of coming out of Marlow. Yeah, it is still responsible for our single largest single day bag. Yep. So it definitely has the ability. We also then saw Lindsay Pryke and Dave Hedge take out Tide at Big Brim. 1.52? 1.52. So that sort of fish in anyone's fishing language is a hell of a fish. It's a fish and a half. It really is. <laughs> um, so look, you know, it's definitely got the ability to produce. We know that the facilities that are there for the Marlow Angling Club, the pub, the bait and tackle store and cafe, um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the coast. It is. It is. We, we talked about it while we were there. The veranda of that tavern pub, fantastic. Is no better place to sit down and watch the sunset <laughs> on the east coast of Australia. Yep. Um, so look, congratulations Tony Petty, well done mate, um, I think a very deserved win and it is, um, I don't know whether it's important to note, but it's just interesting to note that the last two wins that have happened at Marlow have now won not only been by hurricane anglers yeah. um, in that case, but also both have been five fish bags. Yes, true. So Simon Morley for 2019 and then Tony Petty for 2023, both with five fish. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look, you know, it's, uh, I think you're either going to, I don't think it's a love-hate necessarily, but hopefully for any of the anglers that struggle, myself included, um, somewhat in that space, that you've taken something away from it and you know that the next time you get back down there, you're going to have learnt something from it and you are not going to let it conquer you. I think that's it. If, if every venue was easy, which we definitely try to have venues where... We want can, people to catch fish. We do. We, we fight hard for that, but... If every venue was easy, you know, it wouldn't be fishy. No, it'd uh, be we, catching. We try, but yeah, it, it definitely teaches a lot of people it sure does. about themselves and about angling. Fishing. Yeah, um, 840 gram average. Um, I'm pretty sure that there'd be a, a bunch of uh, East Coast angling, yellowfin brim guys that would like to see an 840 gram average in their bag, 2.4, 2.5 kilos every bag rather than 1.5s and 1.7s. Yeah. You know, but the, I guess that's just the difference between the blacks and the yellows. Yeah. You know, I guess getting in and out of those spaces. Um, a massive thanks to Daiwa. Um, the support, Jimbo, I mean, and you've been, I guess, on this side of the fence longer than myself. Uh, but you've seen the support that Daiwa has given Hobie and Hobie Fishing across yeah. the last sort of 11, 12 years. Um, there's nobody that does it the way that they do it. No. Nope. No, so, no, no, um, no, no. so on that case, Greg, um, thank you very much for your ongoing support in that space. And then also going back to the likes of Dave, um, doing all the social media side of it, Rich uh, in that space similarly, um, and also Brett from a marketing perspective. Um, really, really appreciate everything that you guys do. And for the rest of the team, um, I guess that goes unnamed in that thanks right now. Um, and I guess just finally wrapping up Marlo Jimbo would be um, just how well that the anglers did do with um, I guess their preparation for the event, uh, making sure that they were well organised, obviously batteries and sounders and all of those things and live wells that you know haven't been used for months on end under those circumstances of yeah. tournament fishing. Um, it was really, really great to see. And uh, certainly just remember between then and our next event, which is coming up, which we're about to roll into being Camden Haven, um, that you continue that maintenance program. Um, definitely keep an eye on what you're doing with your drives as well, please. Um, you know, the use of your inox or a silicon spray, um, or even still, of course, in this case, Jimbo, the Hobie Lube. The Hobie Lube. Um, it's the best 
product they or they are the best products to be using in that space. Um, there's still a handful of guys and girls out there sort of running either a lanolin or lanox or a grease-based lubricant, um, which is just obviously making everything bind to it. So you see how dirty the drives are. Yep. They're attracting a lot more grit. And yep. so. so give those guys a good clean off degrease, get them back to zero, and then get your maintenance schedule back on track with either that silicon-based inox or Hobie Lube. Yep. Uh, would give you a good place to start there. Right, all things Camden Haven. Um, last time... Woo, I guess Hobie were there, was your first year. Yeah, I, I came in just after that. Okay, um, yep. And yeah, it was uh, it was the big Hobie Worlds, the first Hobie Worlds. Um, that was the first part of the Worlds, mm -hmm. and then they moved to Port Macquarie, but that's the only time Hobie has really... Ever been, been there. there, yep. So, so um, Brigadoon Holiday Park yep. is where we will be, um, at Camden Haven. Um, this event is going to be our atomic round, Jimbo. Um, Atomic for those, just so I guess getting across that a part of the Frogleys Offshore um, group. Lineup, yeah. Yep. Um, and I guess as you look at that, not only have they got the Atomic product there, Jimbo, but we've got Bassaday, we've got Fuji Guides, Kershaw Knives, you've got Gamma. Um, and then I see on our list here, Samurai. Yeah. Um, I ran a quite a few Samurai rods back yep. in my day. They were, they were great rods. And, and as I slowed down on my fishing, I found that you know, people were like, hey, uh, you still using that samurai? You still got, you got any samurai rods? Uh, <laughs> Anything are, you want to part off to me? <laughs> they definitely were. Um, um, so very, there's definitely very, some great quality product yeah, um, in that stable. And in in Michael, um, so Michael Starkey, that is obviously, you know, this atomic round, um, these guys have gone all out. Um, you know, there's a real statement about to be made here on behalf of the guys at Atomic and um, thank you just does not go far enough to I really express our gratitude. No. Um, I don't think in this space. And anglers, this next part is now up to um, For each entrant mm -hmm. that gets along to this Camden Haven round, on behalf of Atomic, we are being, going to be able to provide every single angler with a spool of the new Atomic Lions braid. So Michael and team, Thank you so much. That is so generous. We've never had anything like this. No. Um, abundantly generous, guys. So thank you so much for for being a part of that with us. Um, get it on your reels. Get out there. Give us some feedback on it. Um, we'd love to hear the results coming away from that. Um, in addition to that, Jimbo, <laughs> um, and this is going to happen like three or four times over. So in addition <laughs> to the new Atomic Lines, yep. Atomic and Michael and the team have also come up with lunch for every angler mm -hmm. on Saturday. Yes. So you get a roller spool, you get lunch, and then, Jimbo, I'm going to let you run through what the anglers need to do and what we're going to be doing on briefing on Saturday morning and what the outcome of that is going to be for one lucky angler. Okay, so, but wait, there's more. There is, it's like... <laughs> uh, so we are going to be giving people, as a part of the registration, we will be handing out an atomic sticker. That's it. Uh, which we are asking for them to place on the front uh, quarter of the boat. Yes. And that needs to be visible to us. Uh, we will have a draw. And if that sticker is present and visible during the competition by us, uh, one person one is person. going to be lucky enough to take away $1,000 worth of atomic product after the event. Wow. Um, so not only is Starkey kicking the tin for the line, he's kicking the tin for lunch on Saturday, and for one lucky angler, there is going to be a $1,000 prize pack. Yeah. There's actually more. There is, there is. Um, as part of our normal events, we have the Atomic Big Brim. Yes. So um, I guess coming away from that, I'd like to think that Camden Haven has the possibility of, I'm going to call Big Brim at 1.21. I'm thinking 1.2. I think there's some monsters hidden in amongst the, yep. the structure there. And you've got a lot of options. Obviously, it's the Watson Taylor Lakes. Mm -hmm. um, there's racks. There's going to be rock walls. There's going to be flats. There's going to be deep holes. Yep. If you want to do some travel, there's options to get away from the field yeah. and get down the system to that sort of southern lake end. Yep. It's a Queens Lake. I'd have to have a look. I, yeah. I, I should have done it before we had a chat, but um, 
So that's where we're going to be trying to get those anglers to chase that big brim. And of course, we then have, as per each round, it rolls over with the sponsor of that round. It will be the Atomic Monster Mover Pack as well. Yeah. Um, right now, we've got 58 I see that, yeah. as the time of this uh, recording. With, um, uh, how many days left? Friday night. Friday evening on the 24th is when it will cut off for early entry. Um, we also, the team at Hobie Fishing, have organised uh, the Dashing Bean, the coffee van. Yeah. Um, I'm hopeful that we have got our <laughs> orders pre-placed. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll test it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get to that. So um, it, there's just so much going on for that Camden Haven round. Yeah. Um, so Michael uh, and team, thank you so much. Um, we will continue to say it leading into the event. We'll continue to say it at the event. Um, we haven't had anything to this level, mate. So um, you're setting the standard, setting that bar. Um, you know, with Daiwa's involvement, you know, I was obviously a naming rights sponsor for these events. Um, the team at Atomic have absolutely backed it up and it's smashed it out of the park. It's so, hard to beat. Yeah. So, mate, thank you so much again. Um, the rest of the calendar, mate, we've just spoken sort of off camera really quickly about what else we've got happening. Mm -hmm. um, the very next week after Camden Haven is our affiliate round with the team in South Australia yeah. with the guys at Brim Master SA. Um, from what I'm seeing, this is going to be their single largest kayak event that they've had in their history. Yeah, I was talking to Chris this morning and he was saying they're about to hit their 60 cap. cap. It's just crazy. Um, look, it's it's sensational that all the anglers that are in a position to do so are getting back to support the guys in SA for all the miles that they've done over time. Um, as Hobie Fishing, we've certainly identified, you know, the effort and energies that are being put in down in that space. So, um, you know, congratulations to the team down there. I think that these entries are truly deserving and rewarding for the efforts that, that you've all put in, not only for your local events, but obviously with your efforts coming into doing what Hobie's been doing, um, you know, with you guys over the last few years. So, um, so great work. The final thing, Jimbo, in that space, I guess, with such a condensed calendar is what we're looking at for Epilogue. Um, yeah. So I guess leading into this year, we wanted to try and, and, and again, we'll repeat this till the cows come home. The system is not broken in what we do with our brim events no. and Hobie fishing in general. Like it is tried, tested, proven, mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do it. There's certainly been enough call from a number of different anglers to say, hey, you know, what other species, what else can we do? Is it going to count for AOY? And when we look back at worlds, I think all bar one, has been run in, been fresh in freshwater systems. Correct. So with that being the case, we obviously set out to try and achieve and look at what was possible for a golden perch and then the bass round. Yeah. So whilst we're just so close in the dates, um, we're going to set something out now which needs to be finalised very, very quickly. But if we don't get to 45 anglers pre-registered for the Epilock event, we're going to need to postpone that through till, let's say, October. Yeah. Uh, we've got some other options that we're going to consider floating around at that space, which we haven't finalised just yet. Correct. But if we don't get 45 pre-registered entries, we're going to postpone. Yeah. Um, the, the, look, there is a simple economics behind that process. You know, no, none of this comes free of charge or without no, cost. No. Um, but we want to do obviously what works for you as the anglers as well. Um, We'll come back to you if the Epilock event gets postponed and then we'll figure out what we're going to do in that case. We may run a poll to see what other options the anglers are looking for. Definitely something that I think they'll appreciate, the fact that they've got their input now. Yep. No, that's right. So with all of that being said, Marlo, we've wrapped up. Again, well done, Tony to Hedgie and, of course, James Kilpatrick. He's in. Um, you guys are obviously qualified now through to our Australian Championships. Um, Camden Haven at this stage with 58 entries should be three entries, guaranteed. Uh, we need to obviously bump that up to get to four and then get to five. Yes. Um, Brimmaster SA are going to have the winner of that round. Yep. Um, we'll take out an AC position. And then I guess before we know it, guys and girls, we're going to be rolling around to the all famous BEM River event. Can't wait. Can't wait for that one. We've got a really, really great part of the end, mate. I'm really, really excited to see what April does. For us at BEM, I think there's something special that's going to come out of that one as well. I believe so too. Yeah. So, um, thanks to the team at Hobie Fishing for all their efforts down at Marlow. Um, I think we blew the cobwebs out where we've got got the ball rolling again. Um, Camden Haven's just around the corner. 
Uh, Brim Master SA is just around the corner. Help us out with those early entries for Epilock and also don't forget Camden Haven wraps up this Friday evening. Other than that, we're done. I think you're done. Um, do I'm going to put you on the spot? Who would be our potential top three for Camden Haven? I haven't even thought about this until now. Oh, okay. So we've got we're going to have some people that didn't finish the first round. I'm going to say I don't know if his name is on the list yet. Yep. We've got a Luke K. Oh wow. Okay. Think about them. We've got the Luke. Ro I'm think I'm thinking some Lukes. Yeah, Queensland options. Oh, I could be putting the mockers on these. Guys. Yeah. yeah, I think Wade Walker coming out of Queensland. Yes. Um, has definitely got something. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Dennis Madropolis. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis that used to be good. with us here with uh, Hobie Polarized and Hobie all round. Um, be great to see you, mate. It'd be really good to see uh, some fresh faces at the event. And Peter Bruckel, oh, just coming off a, a fifth tour. and a third yeah. with ABTs, jumping on with the, the Hurricane Boys. Yep. Um, Pete Bruckel is going to be there as well. And if he can figure out how to do two things at once, and I've spoken <laughs> to him about this this morning, like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. Some of these boaters crossing over Troy into Parsons the kayak events, well, Troy yeah. Parsons. There's a bunch of these guys that are coming across, which is great to see, so thank you very much. So I'll say Wade. Mm. Dennis is, is my dark horse. And Peter Bruckel. Okay. But Sid's going to be there. Carl Dubois is going to be along for this event. And I've got a funny feeling that with some of his new product, his new lures that he's been... He could be swaying the brim a little bit. And Who knows? Yeah. It's anyone's game. All right, let's, let's shore this up a little bit closer. Once <laughs> we see the actual list, we'll, we'll put a beer on it. All right, <laughs> done. Um, thank you so much to everybody. Uh, signing off for Hobie Fishing, and we'll see you all at Camden Haven. Cheers. Bye for now.